वेलकम टू अवर चैनल फॉरेंसिक जेनेसिस एज यू ऑल नो वी आर ओवर विद द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ फॉरेंसिक साइंस वी आर मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड क्राइम सीन इन्वेस्टिगेशन एज फैसिनेटिंग एज इट मे साउंड इट प्लेज अ वेरी क्रूशल पार्ट इन इन्वेस्टिगेशन इट इंक्लूड्स हैंडलिंग ऑफ क्राइम सीन एंड एविडेंसेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद इट crime scene a location where an activity took place which is against the law of the land crime scene is a term which is very commonly used it means that a location which has witnessed an action that is against the law of that land for example spitting a location in india witnessing spitting is not a crime scene as per the constitution of india but the same incident happening over singapore would be considered a crime scene and the culprit is charged with a heavy fine crime scene is only a place from where you can start the investigation of a crime it helps us to get the basic idea of the incident by simple observations and has the very potential source of evidences these points ultimately lead us to the culprit classification of crime scene crime scenes can be classified on various bases like sequence of the incident location size of the evidence and on the basis of type of crime happened at a particular spot let's discuss them one by one on the basis of sequence primary and secondary Let me explain this with an example. Consider a murder case. Man A was murdered in a flat by man B. Now to cover his tracks, man B take the body to a nearby water body and dump it. Police officials discovered the body from that water body. Now that water body will be considered as secondary crime scene whereas the flat where the murder actually took place will be the primary crime scene on the basis of location as simple as it may seems indoor vehicle and outdoor if we continue with our previous example the flat was the indoor crime scene the vehicle in which the body was taken is the vehicular crime scene while the water body in which the man b was dumped it will be considered as outdoor crime scene on the basis of size macroscopic and microscopic so it can be said that this is based on the size of evidence you get suppose there is a jungle where you found a body this body is the evidence that jungle is a macroscopic crime scene while when the body was searched there was some traces or we can say trace evidences on the body like suspected hair strands skin shed in the nails fingerprints on the neck area the body would be considered as the microscopic crime scene on the basis of crime type This classification is used in common language and has numerous type like if a murder takes place it will be the murder crime scene if it is a rape case the location involved will be called as rape crime scene and likewise Now we will start with the processing of a crime scene The first step is preserving or protecting the scene of crime This step includes on priority basis victim assistance next comes barricading the crime scene as it is a very common sight that people out of curiosity gather around the scene of crime which may hamper with your evidences so barricade the crime scene either with the help of do not cross tapes or with red plastic cones or with some help of police officials in case of unavailability of above mentioned resources now come the preliminary survey or the walk through survey it is to locate the location of the probable evidences you can collect and also to plan the strategy of processing the scene recording of scene collection of evidences now we will move to recording of scene of crime 
it can be done by sketching note making photography and videography let's talk about sketching it can be done in four ways rectangular this is done in a room where two walls are taken into account and distance from both of them is considered and marked. Baseline method. A single line is taken from where the position of evidences are marked. Triangular method. Consists of counting a single wall and making a triangle between its two ends and evidences. Polar coordinate method. This is generally a success in an outdoor scene where the other methods can't be applied. Here, a single point is considered from where the angle and distance are observed and marked. Now, next part of recording of crime scene is note making. The note should be able to answer all the W's and H. This is what, when, why, which, where, whom, and how. This is an unofficial document which would help you a lot in the crime scene reconstruction and help you to memorize what you observed. Photography and videography, it's the proof of observations you made. Photography reveals the details of the evidences while the videography relates to the parts of the crime scene. It must be noted that videography should not contain any voiceover of the recorder. The photography is done from three ranges, short, mid and far range, which we will be discussing in our series of forensic photography. Thank you for watching. Forensify your life with Forensic Genesis. Like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon. We welcome your questions and suggestions in our comment section.